everybody welcome back to my channel and to another video so um this is like the third time that i've done this intro and it's because i am filming on my phone like i always do and i was wondering whether i i can i need to i watch myself when i'm talking and i find that much easier because i feel it feels like i'm speaking to somebody but then i thought oh well, maybe i should be looking at the little camera bit and then i feel like i'm just not talking to anybody and it feels really weird and not organic but maybe like when i'm actually doing my videos i'm not looking at you i don't know but i've tried three times to do the intro looking at the like the little dot camera bit and it's not working it feels really unorganic i can't do it i feel like i'm trying to remember what i'm saying whereas if i'm just looking at myself talking um it feels like i'm just having a chat so i can do that um let me know if that bothers you i, I don't know let me know in the comments if you ever noticed it like just i'd love to know um because i've made like over 300 videos and i don't know if it's always looking like i'm not talking to the viewers anyway so today i've got a back to school haul for you um it is what day is it it's the 30th of august so right at the end of the summer holidays this is the last week my kids will go back on monday the 4th and we picked up the last thing that they needed today i think it's the last thing they needed I'm fairly sure it is um because they don't need stationery or anything because i pay like three pound and then the school provides a what, not lunchbox what's it called a pencil case all the stationery they need in junior school um zach's going into year six charlie's going up to year three and lily's going into year one so the only thing i need to buy actually is lily's plimsolls i haven't seen any in the shops so yeah i need to get her some um but everything else i have so yeah right at the end of the summer holidays thank, thank goodness really I'm, I'm ready for them to go back now if i'm honest um it's been lovely having them at home and doing things with them but like it's just hard work isn't it um if you know then you know um so yes we got a haul not a huge amount like last year when i did it my bed was covered in stuff because it was lily's very first like time she was starting school so i had all new uniform for her even though i got a lot of hand-me-downs from my niece um and they needed like new lunch boxes and everything but this year we don't have as much because we've got all the lunch boxes they are brilliant they are almost like new no one's broken them yet so fingers crossed that says like that um i bought them new like water bottles partly through the year the metal ones they're chipped they're chipped to buggery honestly but um i figure there's no point buying another one because they're just going to drop them again and they're going to get chipped and ruined so they're still functional they're just a bit messed up really um so they've got the lunch boxes water bottles charlie and lily don't need new backpacks but no zach and lily don't need new backpacks charlie did so i bought him a school bag um but yeah i think yeah this year i've got a quite lightly with regards to school uniform so i'll show you what i've got i'll tell you the prices if i can remember or approximate prices anyway um please excuse my towels in the background i've got to clean the bathroom today and they're all waiting to go in there um so yeah, I've had quite a busy day today and so I just thought I'd pop on and get this filmed for you so I can get it out before they go back to school. Um, yeah, so we've had quite a nice day out today. The kids went to a craft morning at a local church that they've been going to the past few weeks. And then we went over to my mum's and went and took the dogs for a walk with her, which was nice. Then I took them to the park for a bit and then I popped into town and now it's like half past four and yeah where's the day gone so i'm going to turn the camera around show you what i've got and let you know where it's all from and um yeah you can see what we've got for the kids this year for their school stuff and i've said it a few times before actually but any creaking you can hear is actually creaky floorboards my house is or my masonette's quite old um but yeah they are creaky floorboards i promise um so i'll start over here the kids all needed new school shoes because they either outgrew them or they have wrecked them um and i don't go to clark's or anything like that i just i i think it's a rip off my kids go so hard on their shoes when they've had clark's shoes they don't last and um i have three i'm not a millionaire so yeah i can't afford to spend 40 50 quid on one pair of shoes and then times that by three so i went to shoe zone and i got these for charlie I can't remember how much these were. They were about £12, I think. Between £12 and £15. They fit him well. He's had these ones before. And I, I'm going to have to buy him a couple of pairs throughout the year. But because they're cheap enough, I don't mind. And I just put them in the clothes recycling thing at the school when I'm done with them. So they're not just going to landfill either. They're getting recycled. And then the school gets money for recycling, I think. So, yeah, he's got a pair of size ones from Shoe Zone. 
And then on that same note, I got Zach his shoes from Shoe Zone as well. And I think he's had these ones before and he's found them comfortable and everything. And he's a size five, whereas I think his other ones might have been a size four. So he's gone up a bit. And his were about £15. And he found them comfortable. And yeah, I mean, to be honest, as with all my children, Charlie, the middle child, he's the one that wrecks his shoes the most. Um yeah, Zach doesn't so much. He's just like general wear and tear. But again, he might need a second pair being bought for him probably just after Christmas. But yeah, I mean, I think if you're paying sort of £15 for a pair of shoes and they're wearing them every single day and you have to buy two pairs in the year, I think that that's all that's pretty good, isn't it, really? So he's got those from Shoe Zone. And then Lily's shoes as well. I was really impressed with these. These are from Shoe Zone too. And she got these while we were up in Derbyshire um, because the I don't know why I didn't do the boys then as well. I think, oh, because I needed to check to see if the boys needed new school shoes. Um, whereas I knew that Lily had outgrown hers because her feet grew and then she didn't fit into her school shoes. But it was right at the end of term. So I just put her in her plimsolls that still fit while she was wearing her summer dresses and things or little canvasy type shoes that were fine. And these were £10 in shoe zone. And they are size 10 and they fit really nicely and they're really good quality of the three pairs of shoes these are the best quality i feel like they might have been actually like priced wrong um because they feel they don't feel cheap or anything so and i really like the shiny patent leather ones but she's notorious for scuffing her shoes so um yeah, i didn't want to get the patent ones but i thought these were really pretty of little flower and butterfly detail zach picked these out for her to try on actually um and she really liked them. And she's kind of in between sizes. So she's kind of a 10 and a half. But some of the 10s were too tight. The 11s were definitely too big. And they don't do half sizes in shoe zone. Um, and these 10s fit her really well. So, yeah, I mean, she's probably going to have a bit of a growth spurt. She will need another pair of shoes bought for her at some point. But again, these were 9 99 And these actually fit her well. Because when they're in between sizes, it's really difficult, isn't it? Um, so I thought those would be brilliant. Even if they only fit her for a little while until her feet get to like an actual proper big size. And then, like I said, Zach and Lily didn't need a new school bag. But Charlie did because one of his bags broke. And I, they have like a going out bag when we could do family days out. And then they all have a school bag. And we were in Marks and Spencers and he needed a new school bag. Um, so he picked out this one. They had them. It didn't come with this. He's put this on since. Um, they had lots of nice bags in there. And one he picked out was £42, I think. Which I thought was shocking. I was like, you can put that back because I'm not paying that for a school bag. No way. But they found this one. So what about this one? And this was £18. And I thought, yeah, that's brilliant. And he really liked it. It's nice and big. It'll fit his lunchbox in it. Um, yeah, he really liked it. So I thought, yeah, I'll get that from Marks for him. So that's from Marks and Spencers. Um, and then again in shoe zone, the boys need in junior school, they go into school with their PE kit on. So they all need trainers for PE. Now Zach needed a new pair of trainers. So I got these from shoe zone. These were 15 pounds. He's had these in a slightly different shade of blue before. Found them really comfortable and liked them a lot. Um, and I had no problems with them. So he's picked these up again. And he's desperate to wear them, but I haven't been letting him wear them because A, they're for school and B, I needed to do my haul. Um, he's going to have to wear them tomorrow, though, because when we were out today, he stepped in dog poo, which is amazing. Got in the car and I had to clean it. But um, yeah, he's going to have to wear them tomorrow because I need to wash his other trainers. But yeah, so he's got those. So I was pretty impressed with those. I think those were £15 as well. Charlie doesn't need a new pair of trainers because he still fits into the ones that he can wear for PE and the next size up would be way too big for him. So I just said until his feet get bigger, he can wear his like second second pair of trainers to do PE because there's nothing wrong with them. Um, and then Charlie's got a lot of white polos that still fit him from last year and he's got some of Zach's hand-me-downs and they wear PE kit twice a week. Zach's got, I think, one polo top that still fits him. So I've just picked him up a pack of two in a 10 to 11 um and he can probably wear these twice anyway because they're only under a jumper and he's not at that age yet where he's getting all sweaty and smelly so i thought two will be fine for him because the other two days of the week he'll be wearing his pe kit so i got those in asda and these were five pounds and i just think you can't beat asda for school uniform with like price wise and it's all good quality as well 
And then Lily, she's got enough polo tops, but I think she's needed a couple more. So I bought her a two pack in size five to six. And they were only three pounds. And they've got the lovely little like scalloped edges, which is really useful for telling the boys from the girls when I'm doing the laundry. Um, so I got her a pair of those. And then down there, I did pick up my sister a pack for Ariana in a bigger size. And I think those were four pounds fifty, just for in the sake of they're 10 to 11 four pound 50 i wonder why they're cheaper than zach's ones because zach's got a pair of boys ones they're both stay white short sleeve polo shirts two regular fit the girls are 50p cheaper and the boys are 15p more expensive because of the collar difference i don't know who knows who knows why anyway so i picked those up for my sister for for my little barry niece um and then both the boys are mercifully in the same house at school and they have to wear yellow jump, uh, yellow t-shirts for PE because that's their house colour. And you can get logoed ones from the local school shop, but they are more expensive than the ones on Amazon. Um, and I'm not in the business of paying more money than I have to. So I picked these ones up on Amazon. I think these were £2 something each. They're Fruit of the Loom. They're a little bit brighter than the yellow that is in the school shop. But I actually think they're nicer, to be honest. Um, so I got them each one of those. I think Zach's got, what size did I get him? Zach's got a 9 to 11. And he's tried it on and it fits him. And then Charlie has got a 7 to 8. So they've both got those. And um, yeah, I can just get those washed and dried. I don't think they need two. And if they do, I can get them cheap enough from Amazon anyway. Um I did buy Charlie a jumper. I'm going to have to go get his uh, school jumper because there's one thing I've forgotten to get out. Okay, so sticking with the theme of PE kit, um, I ordered that they need, they both need grey hoodies for their school PE kit. And again, they do logoed ones, but I found when I bought Zach a logoed one that it washed really terribly, it shrunk and it didn't last. And it was like £14. And um, so I ordered these ones from Amazon and I ordered one for each of the boys and they were, I think, maybe £11. It was not nineteen ninety nine. I'd never pay that. Um, I think they were eleven pound all in, and this was meant to be Zach's size. And I think I got him like an eleven to twelve, but this fits Charlie with a little bit of growing room. And I had to send the one for Charlie back because it would have been too small. So it came up really small, but that's perfect for Zach for Charlie. Um, and I couldn't find one that didn't come up small on Amazon, so I went on the Sainsbury's website, and I've just got Zach a zip up grey hoodie. In what size did I get him? Um, I can't see what size it is. I think it's either 11 to 12 or 12 to 13. And this was only £6. And it's the right grey. I really want to know what size it is. Oh, 12 years. There we go. And he's not massively tall for his age, but I think he's quite a tall boy. Um, and that fits him nicely with a bit of uh, growing room. So that will do for the year. But yeah, for £6, I'd rather pay £6 or like £11 and get it a little bit cheaper just for the sake of having a, a school badge. But then also for the sake of having a school badge, it means I can film if there were unlogged stuff, doesn't it? And I don't have to worry about that either. Um, so then moving on to the school jumpers, I got Zach these, but that's not what I meant to say. I got Charlie's school jumpers um, from the PTA hand PTA secondhand uh, uniform sale. So he's got some jumpers. I think he's got three, um, and they were cheap as chips because they were secondhand rather than like paying twelve pound or whatever for one. Now Zach is in his last year, and he's got two jumpers that are. I tried them on the other day, and they're a little bit snug. Um, but then when I looked on the actual school website. The jumpers were £15 each and he's going to need two. And I was not prepared to pay that for just a year. And there's no guarantee that like Charlie will end up fitting in them. And there's no guarantee that Charlie will be at the school by the time he gets into year six because it hopefully will move eventually. Um, so I saw these in Tesco yesterday when I was doing my shopping and they were £8 for two. And they're really soft and Zach really likes them. So they're so comfortable. And the only thing about these is they're a slightly different shade because... The infant school stuff is a burgundy and you can get that anywhere. The junior school stuff is like a wine colour and I can't get a colour match on anything unbranded. But Zach really likes these and he said that he'd seen other people with slightly different shades wearing them. So I'm going to give it a go. And if a school say anything, I'll be like, well, maybe you can tell them to reduce their prices because 
that's ridiculous. I don't want to spend thirty pounds on two two tops that isn't gonna wear for a year. And also it's pretty bad at losing things too. So yeah, anyway, I thought these were brilliant quality in Tesco. So I picked those up for him. And these are 12 to 13 years. And then moving on to little Miss Lily, she's still got quite a lot of uniform that fits her because she's Diddy. Um, but I did think I would pick her up um a couple of tunics because her skirts are getting a little bit short for my liking. I like her I like school skirts to come just on the knee because um otherwise I think they're too short and hers were like here and I was like nah you're not wearing those so um I got her a pack of two tunics and they're a lovely jersey material the other ones she's got are a more formal type material um and I just thought these seem so comfortable and nice and I got these in a size five to six so I'm very happy with the length on her and they're from Asda and they're nine pound for two so I thought that was a brilliant price they've just got a little bow here and they'll just be so comfy for her to wear to school for her to sit down in all day so I got those for her and then she was adamant she didn't want to wear trousers when she started school but then over the winter it got so so cold and I don't think she can't pull tights up properly on her own and I was so worried she would be un like uncomfortable at school with tights not pulled up properly so during the winter she'd wear a pair of cycling shorts under her tunics or her skirts but I think she was just a bit cold even with the long socks so I said to her this year did you want a couple of pairs of trousers for the really cold days and she said, yes, please. So I got her these and I can't remember how much these were. Between six and nine pound, I think. Maybe even seven. I've lost the thing, so I can't remember. Um, let me see if I can find my receipt. These are seven pounds for two. And again, they're five to six. A lovely jersey material. So they're going to be nice and soft for her to wear and hopefully quite warm. So she's got two pairs of those. So that's about it for my back to school haul. I haven't had to spend an awful lot this year, thank goodness. Next year will be more expensive because that's going to go into senior school. So I'll have a big whack to pay out next year. So it's nice to have a bit of a break this year. So also something I forgot to mention, Charlie in school trousers and Zach in school trousers. Try the school trousers on them. They both still fit wonderfully. So I didn't think there was any point in buying the next size up because Zach's still got room in his to get a bit taller. And Charlie's still got room in his and I just don't, any point in buying new stuff unnecessarily um and sizing up on him they were massive so i couldn't have bought them they couldn't have worn them anyway they were like that much too long um so they've still got their trousers they don't need any more um so yeah so that's my back to school haul i hope that you've enjoyed it i feel a bit feel a bit disjointed doing this um today i don't know why but i do um so i hope the video has been okay and i hope that you've enjoyed it i hope you're all ready for back to school if you've got kids going back to school and you've got your uniform things sorted out because it's stressful i know you like getting their shoes their feet measured and getting everything you need and there's always last minute things you forget about um like lily's plimp cells you still need some plimp cells um lily's P kit still fits us so that's that's great just a little white top and cycling shorts bam she's done the boys don't need P kit bags in junior school so that's that's really good as well because I did think you know Charlie will probably not want a Paw Patrol one going into year three but then I thought oh no he doesn't need them because they wear their PE kit to school on PE days which is so much better for parents I think because then you haven't got to make sure that all the uniforms wash but also you haven't got to buy all the uniform like extra uniform because the PE stuff unless it has to be logoed which I know some schools are funny um about that the PE stuff is generally cheaper and the boys just have to wear black joggers and Zach still fit him and Charlie's got some that he can take and wear those days anyway. So yeah, it's, it's easier for me all round really. Um, so yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you aren't already subscribed and you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share if you like. Leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care. Bye.